Uh, this is my second year as an invited builder. It's my third year trying to get a bike done for the show. Mike and Grant called uh, shortly after last year, asking if I would if I would do it again. And of course, I was more than amped up to to be a part of the show and try and push myself further this year again and and try and make as much stuff as I could to just put together a really kick-ass bike. Here's the thing with Born Free: it's a different show for different reasons for everybody involved. Some people are going there because, you know, they're into the lifestyle of everything, they're into old vintage bikes, and then you have guys showing up that are really into, uh, you know, heavy heavy fab stuff. Um, and for me, that's that's why I go, it's for the um, high level of, of craftsmanship that you see some of the guys bring for bikes. From a builder's perspective, it's, it's insane. And I say that because it's not just the two-day show, it's the entire year building up to it building something towards the show every hour that you have extra. Your family's involved inevitably because you're, you know, you can't stop. Jason Weber told me I had to up my game. I had to get legit. Said I wasn't biker enough for the scene. So, so this year for Born Free, I'm putting together a bike for my brother Jesse. He decided he wanted to have a knucklehead um, and a little bit race, early race style, um, but a, still a very streetable bike. Um, so with that we started with the frame and kind of built it to look similar to the uh, Petrali um, land speed bike. Um, so if you look at it, it's got lines that are very reminiscent of an old DAH uh, hill climber frame. Um, and I wanted all the pieces on it to look like factory pieces. So we made all the neck casting and everything uh, out of individual machined parts and welded them all up, smoothed them out to look like cast piece. Same thing with all the mounts, engine mounts, the seat post mount and everything else. Um, inspired by early forgings um, but still kind of put our own take on it. Um, and that carries through with the rest of the bike. It's all going to be kind of a smattering of uh, inspiration from early Harley stuff. Um, you can look at the fender, you can kind of see it's got some a little bit of JD inspiration, a little bit of knucklehead inspiration um, and then kind of our own mix of um, our take on it. Um, they did these little bump outs for where the um, fender strut is going to mount in and then press these parts out on the on the pull max kind of give it a forging look. So, um, And the entire bike, the gas tank is going to be kind of racy, same thing with the oil bag um, and this year we're going to bring the entire bike uh, bare metal to show off all of our our fab skills. This year we're not going to go crazy and cut the generator off or do any of that type stuff but um, I did pick up some aluminum knuckleheads from Bacon uh, and these are made uh, by a company in Germany and I just kind of thought that, you know, I'd never seen aluminum knuckleheads, I thought they looked kind of cool and it's totally something you would do if you're gonna, you know, race this thing. So, 47 knucklehead, stroker, transmission's four speed, ratchet top, um, we're actually, actually I think I might run a jockey lid on it, um, tank shift, I haven't quite decided yet what we're gonna do. Uh, my brother really likes the look of VL front ends, um, so we're running a VL front, uh, but we're going to narrow it up a little bit. And I really wanted to get my wife involved in the process. Um, she does a lot of CAD work, that's what she does for a living, so uh, we sat down and her and I, after I cut this apart, dissected the factory pieces and then um, she laid it, laid it all out in CAD, um, but about an inch narrower, uh, so that we'll get those pieces machined and then I can just plug them back into these holes and set it up just like the factory would have done it. These tires are pretty sweet. I like them a lot, just like a five rib, early Firestone style. Some of the Allstates, um, 
It's a real beefy looking tire. Just like that combo, I thought it would look pretty good. This particular craft or art form or whatever you want to label it as, it has taken over my life since I identified with it. And that's not, a, that's not an easy thing to describe to people or even try to explain because you can't understand it until you've experienced it or you, you know, experience something that consumes you to the point where, you know, it affects your ability to function as a human being <laughs> on a basic level, you know, taking care of your own needs, taking care of, you know, family needs, uh, just holding a conversation with somebody and not letting any particular project consume you. Like, it's just, it's just impossible for me.